you're back with Sharon, my second vi um, video. Uh, I also go under Vivid Days. I did post just one other video, which was a more uh, longer video, which was talking you through the process. This time I've skipped it a little bit. Uh, and if you do want to know a little bit more about my process beforehand, feel free to pop back and have a look just to try and speed it up for you all. I've pre-mixed my resin, which is Masterclass one plus one very cold here i like to try and warm it up a little bit uh, i'm using uh the artist panel prime smoothed 18 by 4 with edges and i am using pearl x uh, pigments which is dark brown antique copper super copper super bronze spring green pumpkin orange bright yellow and a little bit of pale white Yes, I know, I tend to use quite a lot of colour. Um, but, hey, that's just me. Um, just recently come back from a trip to Australia, so I'm quite inspired by some of the earthy tones in some of the rocks that we saw out there and uh, just the beautiful, beautiful landscape around us. So I'm going to try uh, and do something for myself, uh, which is just going to be inspired by some of those colours. So... So far I've mixed my two browns, I may have gone a little bit um, too much with the browns but I don't know, I'm really drawn to that at the moment. They're mixing beautifully, um, I'm just, I do have my uh, respirator on, that's why, or should I say mask, uh, which is making a little bit harder for you to hear but hopefully I'm speaking clear enough for you to hear. The reason being is the powders are very fine and you just don't want to be breathing them in. Once I've done that process I will um, remove it. Uh, I have got my double gloves on for safety uh, just so that there's no allergic reactions and I have them double gloved so that when I get a bit sticky and tacky I can take one off and I've still got the other one there. Ooh, you don't want to do that which is spread your powder all over. I'll get to that in a bit. I am in a well ventilated room, safety first, uh, but the sun is actually out today even though it's winter and cold which is creating a nice light, just mindful of time, I've spent a lot of time preparing, got to get out for my haircut, roots need doing but I'm sure you feel a lot better than knowing that information about me. So just mixing them in, making sure they're all mixed in beautifully, let's see what I can do with that stain there. And I am assessing my depth of colour. I'm using some colours that I've not used before, which are normally I'm drawn to blues, greens, as you'll know from sort of the others, but trying a few. And I think that was the magic of some of these stones over there that so many beautiful different colours that run through them. That's beautiful. So there are some. These two colours are very similar though, so I'm not too sure if you're going to notice a huge difference. I might just have to break them up and see how we're going. Got a little bit of the uh, yellow to remind me of the beautiful sun that was over there. Uh, which should blend in beautiful with those browns. Should really complement in each other. Not too sure if you can see from there the colours, but I'll bring them to you so you can see. As I said before, uh, I know my art. I'm not necessarily good at the video editing, so I will learn as I go, so thank you for your patience. Wow, that's got some beautiful streaks in it, dark and proper. Just going back and making sure they are mixed properly. And there I am happy with the colours. Beautiful red in that. These two are going to be interesting. So that's a very dark, um, rich brown, but it's got a lo lovely copper going through it. And I believe this is just a dark brown. Yeah, it's got yellow tinges and gold going for it. But it is beautiful. So the colours are different. I'm hoping, as I mix and put it on the board, if I layer it right, you should be able to see the different colours. Just felt the need to add this little bit of green, uh, just very friendly. Uh, in my head, I've got a preset idea of what I think I'm going to do, which is just do some lines and gradiate it. 
you can try to control resin not too sure if it's gonna allow me to do that but the great thing is as long as I capture the essence of it this green's lovely it's got like little tinges of brown in it so it's a spring green uh, that's gonna come back beautifully that was brown and a little bit of pearl x white now I was thinking of keeping some clear resin but uh, really I don't think it's going to go necessarily with this artwork but I might just add a few lines just to add that little bit of shimmer it will be very sparingly as a last minute sort of decision so I'm very happy with how they will mix I'm now going to take my mask off because I won't need to mix anymore uh, the thing I've learned with resin is try and tidy as you go uh, it makes it a little easier for that cleanup process. So what I've done here is just the excess resin that was left. I've left it on and I'm going to wipe that with my hands. That sometimes just helps that um, resin blend or adds a different effect. I like to put my colours down in front of me so I can work out how I'm going to layer them. You just have to be very mindful though not to get contaminated with the other ones. So I'm now going to take that out of the way. I will recycle that, uh, that's something I am conscious about, you do use a lot of plastic so what I'm trying to work out is what's the most environmentally friendly way of doing this so if you do have any recommendations, tips or anything, let me know so I'm just going to use my hands because it's going to be a bit quicker just to spread this around. I personally don't like getting my hands in here, it just feels very sticky. Uh, just go watch it don't like I've done picked up a few little bits along the way and this is not going to be perfect I think I'm gonna take my glove off and use a stick I seem to have a bit better look when it comes to the sticks I get jealous when I see other people using their hands because it looks really good and they feel connected to it but I'm like I just feel like I'm pruning in treacle it doesn't feel good uh, as per usual with resin you have a time limit so it is um, yeah got plenty of time though if you've done all your prep for me though it's just gonna be trying to keep talking about what I'm thinking because I tend to just get lost in my heart as I've said before uh, but I'm trying to make sure I give you commentary I don't know where all this dust is coming from you must get that out because that really is gonna spoil your artwork must be coming off my jumper quite a bit in there that's very annoying the challenge of no dust with resin seems to be sticking right behind that and this was a very clean uh, board it had all been wrapped up I'd just unsealed it for this anyway I am going to start working my way with this um, see how this takes I have a feeling that I might have mixed slightly too much resin when I was measuring it, I went over by 20 mils um, so I had to do the same with a hardener which is one on one it doesn't matter if these lines are not perfect that's not what I'm going for no rock has a perfect spread of colour. Not too worried about the splashes, although I will try and work a bit neater. And then any leftover I've got, what I am going to do is, oh that's beautiful, um, probably make a small one. Put them all together again and use my heat gun to blend them and sometimes that's when you get some of the best ones where you just don't think about it and just go for it. I really like this with the uh, copper and the shimmer. I do tend to like working with resin when it goes slightly off tacky. That's when I can, um, no, 
get your brush strokes to be seen. Oh yeah. You can create more purposeful strokes. Those colours are looking lovely blended together. I've got a lazy Susan under here, so it's sort of I'm having issues with it wobbling all over, so I might just have to keep my hand on it. It's one of those days today. Beautiful day. But little things like lazy Susan just wanting to turn around itself. It's like I've got gremlins in here today. through a little bit, try and get some of it to blend together and merge together. Um, feels like this is what I'm just going to do throughout it. Keep building those different colours, light and dark. Whereas in it's self leveling so it will sort itself out and hopefully all the pigments I've got are the same texture so that you won't find some of it all drips to the bottom uh, and you lose some of the colour so that's what I will be keeping my eye out on. Never really done painting in one day with negative space, I always tend to fill it. One day I'm tempted, I'll just give it a go how that works. This is just stunning colour. All the time just trying to be mindful not to lose too much of the edge where I am going to paint the edges or let it fall over the edges. Sometimes you just need to help it do that. But once the board is full of red, then you'll find that it will do that anyway. Oh, my lazy Susan wants to make my painting that way, so I'm just going to let her do that. Try not to use too much paint on the first go round. To spread it and layer it. There's beautiful earthy tones coming through. Yes, that's like a sunset. I reckon it will as I add. I'll add a few more and then I'll start torching it out. Get rid of any bubbles. Just want to make sure they don't stay in a round circle. So just doing that just to stop it staining. Okay. I'm going to come in with a little bit of yellow now. See what that looks like. keep some true colour but I do like to blend them through to graduate the colours. The colours that have fallen off the side I will scoop them up and use them down the side. I'll try and get as little waste as possible. Resin's expensive. Uh, plus, I just don't like wastage.
less green so I am trying to be very sparing as I apply that to make sure I will be able to add a little bit of that throughout. Beautiful because it's got that bits of brown in there. is making me think of Australia. I lived out there for 16 years and my son's out there so I'll visit quite regularly. Once I've added that little bit of white, I am going to torch it and then I'll start the layers again. Perlex is going to do or add, but I'll probably just keep it blank space. A little bit of shimmer, gotta love a little bit of sparkle. Um, I did spend a lot of time getting this board level today for some reason. What normally works straight away, it didn't, and that's probably the hot tip I would say is the importance of trying to get your board level even if it's frustrating and even if it takes a little while it will save you a lot of pain especially if you are trying to replicate or create a certain image the less chance of it running where you don't want it to run but there that's going to be for you this is actually giving me an idea for how i can create a um, sunset picture um, and give you a feel of a uh, being outside. Oh, now that's not what I wanted to happen. Put the fur legs through the colour, so I'll go around here. Watch this.
I was hoping this would be a 20 minute or half an hour video, but I didn't, because <laughs> I prepared everything, but I did not anticipate the layering uh, takes its time. Oh, that beautiful yellow has been used. I think I'll definitely use, be using this bright yellow again. Another tip, which I never did, <laughs> leave a little bit of resin at the end, so if you do run out of anything, you can quickly make up colours. Okay, go. I'm happy um, I've used it all. Alright, so that one. Look good. All gone. Finish that top edge with brown because it's always nice to have your darker colours at the top to draw your eye into the painting. Let's see. I didn't want to do. What I might do is just get my heat gun, just warm it up a little bit and see if they naturally, oh it's just one of my paintings, see if that causes them to merge or create a different effect although I really do like that but it is going tacky. Help blow the bubbles as well. Starting, I'm just going to blow those bubbles. And then it'll be quite fluid.
拍一刀就能干的配置。妈呀 ，turn out now， 谁？It's some nice effects down there. More movement. I think I might just get my stick through it. It looks like when you look at your rocks, there's layers. Layers. It's blending nicely now. Really, just have to get on with these edges. I quite like that. Some nice effects there. See what I think, but I have got to get on with these sides and let that settle a bit. See how I feel about it. And I will show you some pictures at the end of it. I don't know how people get their videos to half an hour. Bring you in for a shot and I think that's about it for today and I will show you some when it dries. Alright, thank you.